All right, Dave. So yeah. I thought we could talk about Christmas because it is December. Mm -hmm. And specifically, some of those areas where we've maybe got it wrong. Right. Or misunderstand okay. some aspect of the, uh, the Christmas story. Mm -hmm. So you and I were talking about one of the things that I think we often get wrong, and that is, why was it mm -hmm. that Mary and Joseph yes. stayed in a stable? Right. Well, now let me let me answer this because I I, I I remember seeing flannel graphs when I was in Sunday school. I know I know how this went down. They 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 arrived in Bethlehem, and it was it was simply everything was full. Um, they went to the sort of the hotel, the inn there, and as much as the innkeeper wanted to offer them a room to stay, everything was full. They were just overbooked, and that's that's how it happened, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're told. Okay. Why wouldn't they just stay with family? Why wouldn't they just stay with family? That was, after all, his hometown. That's right. Remember the reason. They were going back to Bethlehem mm -hmm. by order of the government to, uh, I think in the old language, to be taxed, it says, you know, to, to be counted. It was like a census. Mm -hmm. And uh, you would think, I will just stay with my family. And yet he wasn't able, apparently, to do that. And it says there was no room for them in the inn doesn't necessarily say the inn was full hmm. i mean people make it sound like the town was overrun with people but if people went back to their hometown then you just went back to the place where you were born and right. it's not like today where people move away and build their families and then come back i right. mean most it, of the people who were in the town would just be in the town it wasn't a travel destination no. it was the hometown for whom the people who were born there returned right yeah, and so I think that really what we need to remember is that one of the many humiliations surrounding the Incarnation, remember the very low point mm -hmm. of redemptive history, it, it wasn't a glorious thing for God to become man. Mm. And even worse was the context into which that happened. Mary and Joseph were perceived as being immoral. That they had, Joseph had gotten her pregnant out of wedlock. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of uh, evidence to suggest that they were basically outcasts. Part of the reason why you're staying in a stable <laughs> is because the family has rejected you. And the culture, even in those days, would look at that as being something that was... Uh, uh, immoral and not not really something that they would want to have even in their inn, hmm. and inns were not exactly places of of uh, uh, a classy place to stay. Remember, I mean, we know that from history, right? And so, what you have here is a situation where uh, the guy says, "Well, fine. I mean, you are a pregnant woman. You know, there was a certain amount, maybe, of of just general compassion that was shown to them, but it's like you can just stay in the in the stable if you want, hmm. and that's where the baby had to be born." So wow. it, it was really humiliation upon humiliation. And I just think we need to, to make sure that that is at least registering in our thoughts. Because otherwise, as you know, you're going to sing songs like Silent Night, and it makes it sound like everything was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Snow gently falling outside the window, a crackling fire in the corner. All is calm, all is bright. All, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It wasn't. Wow. It wasn't. Ima just imagine uh, how difficult that experience was. Brutally difficult. So I think we need to remember that when we, uh, when we celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. It was just one of the many things that our Savior did for us, taking on an unbelievable amount of shame in order that he might bear our shame and share his glory with us. Wow. Thanks, Sean.